Hello everyone, welcome to my video session to make DYR file to do transient analysis of renewable energy plant. In our last video, we have made a similar model which looks like uh, this that appears in my screen. Uh, so, what will be my first step for DYR file? I just simply have to click on the D dynamic spreadsheet. You can uh, you can get it with a shortcut as well by pressing Control Shift D. So I'm just clicking that uh, icon that's on my top. So in this spreadsheet, well, whatever the machines you are using in your uh, modeling, it will appear automatically in that spreadsheet. Uh, but here you can see there is uh, no machine uh, just because uh, the first step that appears at name like machine is for the conventional machines and uh, I have not used any conventional ma machine in my uh, modeling so I have used renewable energy uh, that wind turbines uh, so I have to check that machines uh, in a renewable machine tab so here is my machines so in that uh, in that uh, dynamic file uh, I got uh, lots of options to model my uh, generators like uh, you can see uh, there are lots of generator models that uh, appears uh, in my screen with uh, WT1, WT1, uh, G1, WT2 so basically these are the types type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4 uh, let me give a, a small uh, introduction about these types the WT1 G1 is a directly connected type 1 generator WT2 G1 is an induction generator with control external rotor resistor type 2 and uh, WT3 G1 is a doubly fed induction generator type 3 and W3G2 is a doubly fed induction generator type 3 version 2 and uh, WT4G1 is a type 4 wind generator model with power converter and uh, last one is a WT4G2 it's a wind generator model with power converter type 4 version 2 so it's up to you which type of uh, wind turbine you are using uh, for this uh, example I'm using WT4G1 and uh, that will be suitable for me uh, so how you can see uh, this model is uh, how, how you can uh, determine this uh, model so we just simply have to check this model which appears WT4G1 uh, you, can, uh, you can see this uh, this is a model library for PSSE 34 which model you are using it appears uh, here so I'm using a wind generator model with power converter. It has all of the uh, parameters, and this is the block diagram of that generator model that I'm using in my modeling. So uh, let's uh, enter the parameters for this model. So to enter the parameter, you just simply have to click add replace WTG1 you have selected that I, have, uh, I just have to add it okay Zero point zero two zero point four. Okay, we are done with our generator model. Now I'm going to use uh, WT4E1 model, and I have to enter some parameters. That uh, that parameters are manufactured provided parameters. So you have to use what parameters you got.
all right uh, I think we are done with our parameters so there is a problem with my parameters that I have to enter okay so we are done with our parameters uh, you will be wondering that uh, which cons value that I have entered and what's that uh, KPV, KIV and all of the variables to check this thing uh, you can again check the models and uh, this time you can see this model I have used for WT4E1 and uh, these are the <coughs> block diagram of this model that is used in this PSS model so that's a standard model and we are going to use this in our modeling okay for type 4 generator and electrical model uh, they both are uh, we are done so we can use the same parameters in further two just for an example So all right, we are done with our dwire file. We simply have to save this file. We have to go for file, save title as, and uh, you can select the destination. And I'm making the file name of my choice, test file for transient. All right, it's a big file. So simply we have to save this file. All right, for further steps, you have to follow the same procedure in my video that I have already defined in uh, my dynamic simulation video. So it will definitely uh, help you a lot and uh, I hope you have learned a lot of things in my video so please comment and uh, like my video you can also subscribe my channel for more videos to do modeling in PSSE so thank you guys thank you for watching my video to do transient analysis for renewable energy plant bye bye